Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, August 10th, 2019. It's 58 degrees at about 9.18 a.m. Sitting here with my co-star Samuel, who's taking a little snooze. Go figure. What do cats do the most? Sleep. Everybody wants to be a cat because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Oh boy. I had another one of those mornings where I could just lay here and not do nothing, but I'm going to get active. Finally decided to get, decided to sit up and have a glass of water and the, the door's been open and the cats went out a while ago and I was just laying here. Woke up uh, just about, just about dawn. Heard Maxie trying to uh, tear into the bag of cat food and even though there was food in the bowl, he wanted it fresh out of the bag, so Maxie gets what Maxie wants. Mikey was upstairs there with me, and oh boy, I had a pretty crazy dream. Um, I was with my mom, and we were in like a a little Willie's Jeep. I don't think it even had a, a convertible top on it, and it was just an open Jeep with no doors. And we were at the cemetery or funeral at St. Mary's Church, and then we went riding down Ford Avenue past where the DPI plant is and all of a sudden there's these big snow banks and when we got by one of the entrances to this building between DPI and the cement plant a uh, UPS driver was driving like a Jeep Com Comanche or something and he pulled out of this drive and nearly broadsided us and squeezed in along between us and the snow bank and tried to pass us, so I just matted it, and the guy ended up driving up on the snowbank, and then all of a sudden he did an endo and got thrown from the vehicle, and he he was all worried about calling his office and telling him what would happen, and I told him, you know, well, I'll call, you can use our radio. <laughs> we had radios, so it was really weird. And that's when we woke up. So, whatever that was all about. But I did sleep pretty good, and I feel fairly rested. And I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm thinking about... Well, I know I, I'm hoping to go see some friends that are in town from Virginia. I spent the afternoon out there yesterday. And uh, I'm thinking that I might pedal my bike out there today. I'm going to look and see how far it is. And uh, I think it's probably about a 15 mile trip run one way and I think I can do that so uh, it's out off of, on Grand Lake off of Warren Creek Road and maybe a mile north of the north end of Long Lake so I'm gonna have to figure that out but it was nice catching up pissing and moaning and whining and bitching about the way things are and <laughs> with someone who's like minded like me windy out there though I thought I'd go swimming when we got there and there were white caps on the lake and sitting in the sun it wasn't bad but it was pretty chilly sitting in the wind so anyway Max and Mike and Elsie are outside and I'm just sitting here confused as usual we're back again Sammy just moved had a pretty busy day in the kitchen yesterday too. We went and got some groceries and came home. We did some, uh, before that threw some laundry on, but we got bread baked. We made some chip dip, uh, made some cocktail sauce for some shrimp and uh, threw a salad together. What else did we do? It seemed like we did more than that. I don't know. But it was a nice day, it really was, other than the wind, and it was just good to be with old friends, you know, and hanging out, getting out of the box. I guess the other day I was talking about getting out of Dodge, and I guess that worked for me. I don't need to go, you know, on a 500-mile trip or anything. Just getting out of my usual box of things that I usually do is good enough, you know. It, it does us all good. And 
it'll do good to do it again. I know that. The family situation, I don't know. I guess uh, it's good to be around that for me. Um, I have always enjoyed the people that I went and visited with yesterday and um, just always felt really good and welcome and not a lot of tension around, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I just never really, there weren't many times I felt comfortable being around my family. There were times, and I'm not saying they were bad, but there was just always seemed to be a lot of tension. And so, I don't know, for whatever that's worth. There's Mikey. Mikey just came in. What are you doing, honey? What did you see? What are you waiting for? How are you, my friend? I love you. Mikey. Oh, Mikey. You gonna go back out? Or are you gonna lay down up there? Oh, yeah. I was just getting ready to fire up the computer. Oh, there he goes. Back outside again. Fire up the computer and see uh, how far a trip I'm going to be having. Both options. Like I said, one, maybe I didn't say, I don't know, one one way I'll be driving to my brother John's with the bike in the back of the truck and then pedaling out to Grand Lake or just pedaling all the way out there. We'll have to see. Let's go do that right now. We will pause again. Hey, welcome back to the Mike Show. Proud to be and the least watched show on YouTube. Hollywood had Ed Wood. YouTube has me. If you're expecting anything beyond <laughs> what you're seeing, you're going to disappoint yourself. There's my Elsie. There's my lady. She came in. You having a good adventure, honey? And there's Samuel over there. He got up and got a drink of water, and now he's going to take his third or fourth nap of the morning. Hey, Sammy. Hey, buddy. Oh, did we get you in there? Bad angles. Bad, bad angles. Hey, Sammy. Oh, well. What can I say? I can say a lot of stuff. Most of it's just rambling and babbling and incoherent, meaningless drivel and drivel. There's Mike Key. We're going outside. It is beautiful out here. Hey, Mike Key. There's another kitty. There's a stray kitty. Hey, Mike Key. Who are you, buddy? What's the matter, mister? What's the matter? Why are you crying? What's the matter? It's all right, buddy. You're all right. What's the matter, honey? How come you're crying? you got to find a home, buddy. What's the matter? You hungry? All right. Poor kitty. There's Mackie. There's Mackie. Was he growling at you, Mackie? You doing good, honey? Come on, you guys want to come in the house? Come on, Max. Look at Mikey enjoying the sunshine. Yeah. So, anyway, we uh, took a look at the mileage from here out to where my friends are staying at Grand Lake. And it's like a 14, 8 mile ride, 14.8 miles, which I can do. Um, if I go to my brother John's and pedal from there, it's a 6.1 mile ride one way. So the options are to drive to John's, pedal out to Grand Lake from there, leave the truck at John's and my way back and pedal into town and then pedal out to John's in the morning. So I'm looking at like either... Either option, the, the, the riding there from here and back to Grand Lake is around 29 miles. Riding from John's to here, or to the, for, riding from John's up to Grand Lake, then back to John's, and then here is going to be like 22 miles. So we'll see how much we have in me. we got to regroup here, get these sweethearts some food and stuff, and um, we'll roll from there. But we will pause again. Still got lots to do around here before we get out, get out and do anything. Well, we're back again, and uh, <laughs> not a lot happening, and I'm all right with that. 
nothing wrong with doing nothing and that's what's tough is because I could just sit here with my loves all day it wouldn't bother me but I do want to see my friends before they leave and they're leaving tomorrow morning so right now I guess we're gonna close uh, God is singing to us in the chimes it is getting windier and windier and I know north of town it's going to be worse so maybe the bike can or driving to John's and biking to Grand Lake option is probably the best thing to do. So I don't know. At this point, we can only speculate. But anyway, we're going to be signing off. So piss off and have a wonderful day.